this video, I will show you how by having the Satawa plant, or what we call the mother of a thousand leaves, for you to grow your garden without needing to use any pruning or cutting or advanced propagation method. So we yeah, have right here yeah, the Satawa plant, or what we call the Karancho plant. The new name of this plant is the mother of a thousand plants. So we shall see why it's called the mother of a thousand plants. So let's inspect the nature of the plant itself. It has it has thick stem, okay, and followed by thick and waxy, shiny um, leaves. The edges are jagged, as you can see over here, jagged edges, okay. Um, the fact that the leaves are being are very thick is because it has this ability to send nutrition easily up. Not only send, but we do withhold the nutrition in the leaf itself. And what's critical about that is that it allows young plants, the new saplings, to grow around the leaves. Okay. So you can see over here the new young saplings if and actually it just needs it to drop for it to grow more so let's take a look at the young plant itself this is just freshly plucked out from the mother leaf you can see that even by growing up on the mother leaves it has already formed roots so what the mother plant has just have to do is just to hopefully drop the young leaves young plants into the soil for it to uh, propagate some more so looking at the plant itself just just one leaf will have lots of the young plants and imagine all these young plants drop and each of them successfully grow so you, that's why you can see that just one plant itself can reproduce or propagate into many more young plants many more satawa plants so this is a very simple method of having plants at home uh, without you needing to do much all you have to do is basically to have a bigger pot unlike over here this is just for example okay um, or alternate, alternatively when the young leaves drop to the ground you can easily pick it up and transfer them to smaller pots so this is an example of of uh, young stava plants as you can see that this is definitely a small pot so there's no way that those uh, young young leaves from stava to drop into this pot so all this are actually picked up from the ground and all you have to do is just to transfer them to this soil okay so we can see this these are the taller ones these are growing and there are some new ones which you just simply drop them into this uh, small pot okay so it's very simple way of uh, propagating plants uh, growing your gardens without needing to buy new plants.